going to say madness, guys. This is the Monday conclusion of the unboxing. We started on Friday. It's still sitting here. We haven't touched it. That's however many items are left in there. We didn't even total up what we already did. So we're going to get in there, and we're going to figure out what else we have, and hopefully we can turn that Friday garbage pile into a little, little pile of gold, you guys. So, you know, we didn't go do anything fun. I'm really disappointed. We worked. That's what happens when you're a business owner, guys. We worked. <laughs> yeah, we did. But yeah. you know what? There is something fun coming up in the near future. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, guys, it's so, happening. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Appreciate here. being here. Not subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And I'm going to run through the numbers again one more time. Oh, yeah. Just to remind that. everybody all in on this palette. We did half of it on Friday. Doing the other half right now. Shipping fees, the whole bit, all in. $621 we paid for this palette. They say retails $4,494. So $4,500. You know, if it was a perfect palette, we would have gotten at least half half of the retail. If Probably. it was, I'm, I'm talking perfect, you guys. So we're, it's reality. It's liquidation. This isn't going to be perfect. So 73 items. Well, I don't know what's left in there. But 73 items this palette had, which broke it down to $8.51. If you did not catch Friday's video, that was the first half of this. Jump you back and see it. You didn't miss much on Friday, guys. You saw we got some, a lot of junk. You saw some garbage coming We're hoping out. it's going to get better now. So, cross your fingers. you got to do all of them. I, my fingers, they're too sore. It's like, like been you working my fingers to the bone. It was like, ah. All right, let's get into this. All right, guys. So, and like Terry said, if you have not hit the subscribe button, please do it. We're shooting for 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And we're going to do it, guys. I don't know how we're going to pull it off. We're, we're steadily growing, but it's slow. So we need more and more of you guys to hit it. All right. Four. I saw four of them, so I just I pulled all so four out. So these all appear to be the same thing, guys. I'm going to assume that these are a shelf, garland. Shelf full. End of the season. I'm assuming. Um, that's just factory tape. Factory tape. These are all brand new. Is it these, a garland? This is a garland, nine foot garland, ten inch thick, which is Ooh, a good. Oh, these are good ones. I had, I, you know, I actually bought us new garland this year, and I didn't want that little thin garland. And so, yeah, average is 10, 12 inch for a good garland. So these are thicker garlands. What's the retail on these? Regular price, $76.24. You may get it online right now for $60. You know what? Next season, you guys, we're going to put these up local for $35 a piece, and I don't think we'll have any trouble selling them. No. And there is a and screenshot. We, we haven't done any screenshots yet. So there's a screenshot. No, um, and you know... Actually, when I was editing Friday's video, I did slip a couple screenshots in. Yeah, I just didn't say screenshot, but I did put some in there. I wrote them all down. All right, you did. Okay. All down. All right, guys. I asked this yesterday if we ever get soda streamers Oh, my in. God. And I said yes, but we haven't had one in in a while. Well... Okay, don't open it yet. There's a soda stream. What? So you guys that have been watching us <clears> for a long time, you've seen us open these many times. And it's almost like water filter roulette. It's like, is... The CO2 cartridge is going to be there or not? What do you think? I think no. What all do you think? And if you're watching April, <laughs> you remember all those. And you've been down that road before. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 oh, my gosh. They didn't even wet. rinse out the bottle. It's still got moisture in it. For Jeez shame of you. You guys. They used and abused. Let's see what the machine looks like. Bless their... It's, it's not bad. Bless their hearts, you guys. They even left us the... the That's off the CO2 The wrapper cartridge. from the CO2. Okay, let's see oh if the cartridge is in here and it's, it's empty. not too light. Nope. Nothing. They even threw the cartridge away. You guys. Used... No cartridge, 10 bucks. I was going to say 10 bucks. And that's even stretching it. They just, it's too tough. There. The cartridges are about 30 to $35 to go buy them. So it does discourage people from buying these. Did you write it down or? I did. It's like Christmas time. 10 to, uh-oh. 
with switchable heat. Miko brand. Okay, take it home. Product test it. I'll make you chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm going to scan this, guys. We normally get these mm -hmm. in the Homedics brand. Oh, yes, because Mike... Somebody has it on eBay for 90 Hey, look at you. that! I heart you. Just in time for Valentine's Day that's already over with. I heart you. Um, this doesn't come up on any retail site, you guys. $10. Next. You know, I'll put it on now, but just to give it a try, but it'll, be, it'll probably be next year. I'm going to say 50 on this if it's good. I mean, it's definitely <clears throat> open. May or may not have been used, but uh, most of them have. Uh, what did it retail? It doesn't come up on any retail sites with a quick scan. So. What's it called? Miko? Miko. M I K O. Anything foot, else? Miko Foot Massager. Okay, Just got try it. That. Miko Foot Massager. Miko. Yep. Mass 2. Wait, which Miko is it? Miko Shiatsu Foot Massager. She's, it's a white, white one or silver one? We will call it whatever color silver -ish. you want to call it. One, I see 139. On a retail? Like, no, like a, Bed Bath, yeah, Bed Bath and Okay, Beyond. 139, you know what? I believe it may be used. I'm still going to go with the $50, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Overall, it gets a 4.6 out of 5 star, so not a bad one. 4.6 out of 5. Here we got a solid wood. Um, cutting board, guys. This is actually pretty nice. Got the tags on the back still. Did you hurt yourself? Yeah, I gotta go home. It says... And use a shizatsu. <laughs> Merry and bright. So, I mean, it's kind of marketed toward Christmas. I think we could probably still sell it now. But, honestly, we're looking at probably about seven or eight bucks. I bet you that retailed, like, anywhere oh. from 18 to 28 Sometimes you just don't even want to go there. 12-piece square dinnerware set. Okay, now well, the dinner square wear. ones sell <clears throat> way better than the round ones. So, um, taped, taped, taped. This one looks like it might be retaped. Do you do a, a shaker test on it? No. Man, I got one out of a pallet a little while ago, you guys. A different pallet. We didn't video. I pulled that thing out of there, and it <clears throat> sounded like every piece in the box was broke. It was terrible. I think it's all right. Fifteen dollars. Oops. Shark genius, you guys. I'm not even gonna scan it yet. Let's check the condition before we get too excited. Don't get too excited. Really? Was it a mop? Um, this is a clean and sanitized steam pocket mop. Are these things cheap? Are they cheap? I'm trying to remember if that was the one that was 100 or if that was the one that was 70. I hope it's the one that's 400. No, no. Sorry, baby. Sorry to bust your bubble. You know, I don't even think Simply Essentials. Friday's King segment of this palette was so terrible, you guys. I didn't even boom anything. That's so sad. Uh-oh. That's not factory pack, guys. I feel like we got a Christmas leftover palette. Don't see it. Like, let's get ready for the holidays. I don't need any of this stuff. I feel Take like... to the store and return it. I feel like we got to let's sweep the warehouse floor and throw it all in a box. King Pillow. I see not one hair. Tag looks good. It all looks good, but this isn't an expensive brand, but it still is a king. I could get $10 to $15 for this. I'm going to put it down for 10 Man, it doesn't, it doesn't look used, but everything is open, you guys. Everything. So I'm just not sure what to expect here. What do I find here? Beauty Rest, heated throw blankets, 60 by 72, factory, this one is brand new, and the only thing that we 
have found once before is somebody has stolen cords out of these. Why is beyond me? Maybe their cord just died. I don't know. You never know. All so right, guys, I cannot just see. want to make sure the cords are always in there. I can't see any sign that they actually use it. It's all been open, but it just doesn't look used. So. Really? That looks, like, discolored. No, I don't think okay. so. Look at the back of it. No, you're right. I mean, I just, I don't think they use it. I think they unpack. I know it does look a little bit discolored, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. But then it depends on which, I don't know. I'm starting to get worried. I'm not finding the cord. Uh-oh. Here I was just saying, look for the cord always. What size is this one? It's a lap blanket. You know, the craziest thing of it is. That right there. Maybe this is. I hope I don't know what that is. Is I actually I just recently a mess with this. sold one of these cords on eBay because the blanket was no good. And so I sold the cord on eBay. Now I'm wishing I would have kept it. Mm, that's just oh, the... but it wasn't this brand. Okay, never mind. It was a Brookstone. There it is. You found it! My gosh. Yes! Nothing like not having Boom. that all put together in a good way. Man, I blew that wow. cord! I guess that makes it hard for anyone just to come in and steal a cord very easily, though, huh? Can you believe I just boomed a cord? <laughs> I did it, guys. It got me excited we, that we got it. If that cord wouldn't have been there, that blanket oh, would have been worthless. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to do this. $140 on this vac bop thing here, guys. Um, I'm going to call it 60 bucks. I feel pretty good with that. Whew. Man, that was a close call. Get this one posted. It's been cold. Spitting snow for days. Mateus' friend is back, you guys. You guys remember? Oh, here. Give me that one. His and hers. Does it match my hair? We still got it, it guys. Match us. Hello. Okay. Hey, Lick, we can go yeah. puppet show. My Hold on, guys! <laughs> Hello! You door! It's the horsey show! It matches you. We're going to put these up in the office, and this is going to be Terry, and that's going to be Mike. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to write it down for ten bucks. <laughs> no, it's Mike and Terry. We're, we're you calculating. Can, so you can, you can, we can sign them, and then fun. we can take a photo with them, and then we can auction it off. We're calculating value here, guys. Whether we sell it or not, the value of it, if we were to sell it, would be $10. Somebody might give us $12 if we do that. <laughs> $12. Yep. I wonder which one it's going to be. Who is it? Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> Probably. Oh. Let good me see. grips. What the heck is this little press corner caddy? Well, it does look no, like it's brand no. new. My thing is that it'd be Marie, and then I'm having to ship it to Africa, and now I'm, I'm negative ninety-eight dollars. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you pay man. your own shipping, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what, you send me a gift, then I'll send you one back. <laughs> Let's see what we got going. I'm not feeling real too hopeful about this, guys. Man, I can get that back in there. All that just to get this going. This is $30 at Bed Bath & Beyond. We're going to call it 15 bucks. Okay. Usually we sell these around $25, $30. And right off, it's not showing... Let's see who's got this on eBay for how much. Seventy-four dollars was a hundred and ten. Wow. The heck I'm, I'm still saying thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Some kind of little fabric, little tote, you guys. It's like a heavy canvas polka dots. I don't know. I mean, I feel like five bucks is is pressing our limits here. What do you think? Brand new, but it's just a little caddy. You know. Some kind of caddy. I mean, can we get five out of it? Yes. You know why? Tidy up. Okay, we're going to call it five, Pom -pom guys. Mini. 
But you can also use this for an Easter basket, for like a, a gift Ooh, basket or something. See? That, you know what? She Think thinks outside, outside the, the box. box. All right. What else? My mom thinks outside the box, too. Oh, boy. She, showed, she gave our, her, our granddaughter her birthday present. She put it in a basket, turned 10, and she took... Ten little gifts and wrapped each one up in tissue and had all the, you know, the tissue sticking out. So she had ten little gifts to pull. I thought that was a great idea. It was. She did good. She did good. So there's there's a there's a tidbit, Terry's Tidbit Tuesday from Mom. On Monday! On Monday! Madness! Duvet cover set and sham. You know what? What size is this? Didn't even say on the front. 60 by 90, so queen. Is that queen or king? Yeah, it's 68, queen. sorry. 68 by 90. I think pleated that's... rhombus. So. What's a pleated rhombus? We're just going to call these 25 and 25. Okay. Even if they're 100, duvet covers don't sell well. You only wrote down one. You want me to write one down? Nope, I got it. Got to keep track of our items, babe. Okay. All right. Have another one. This is a bottle drying, cleaning and drying rack. Um, it's completely open and out of the package. Doesn't look like it's been used, but with it not being in the factory package, it's going to be hard to sell. I'm going to call this. I, mean, I don't see any damage or anything. I'm going to call it seven dollars. Seven dollars. Oh boy, seven dollars. I think we took a loss on that one. Or this no. I do see some boom items. <gasps> oh, I did not realize that. Sorry, I got excited. Micro flannel sh shovel? Yes. Is that what you say? Micro flannel sheet set. What do you call that? Shovel? Chevelle. Oh. <laughs> Chevelle. Micro Chevelle flannel. durable and high quality. Oh. Factory <laughs> steel. I think I better leave that. I better quit product testing that machine back there. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> At Target, here's a screenshot, you guys. It says it was $144. It's on sale for $90.66. The fact that it's king is good. I'm still going to put it out there for $40. What a great deal. You know what? If that's all for real, $40 and it's factory sealed, they're brand new. These retailed $144. Somebody's going to get $104 off. Mike, boom that. Boom that. Boom, boom that for customers. I've just boomed the Chevelle set. For the customer. There you go. All right. Um, I have no idea what's going on here, guys. I feel like this is used, and somehow they snuck it back into the package. It's definitely used. Oh, my gosh. It's makeup. It's gross. How do they get it back with all these things? What things? All the plastic that's got it all tied together. Do you remember the beach blanket I had yesterday? Yeah, but this stuff? isn't doesn't look like that. Uh, but anyway, that or... this was a Haven um, oh, organic okay. cotton robe. We will take this home and we will wash it in our brand new wash machine with bleach and see if it cleans up, guys. And maybe we'll have it for ourselves. I don't know. Well, it's but I'm got, not going to throw it away. No, it's got snags, a couple of snags on it. So no, we can't throw it away. It has been abused. I'm, I'm searching it right now, guys. This brand, Haven, is pretty expensive. $70 at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, like I said, with our brand new, super efficient washing machine and some bleach, we'll fix this right up. Are you going to do the little thing that pulls it off and it has a little scrubby brushy thing? Yeah. So Mike tells me, mind you, you guys, we ordered these online. Didn't really bad. I just was like, I want this color, this size, and like this. I do it. Just find us a set because a lot of them with supply chain don't have them in stock. I found them. So he found it. So you guys all know that story. What I did not know, I didn't look over any features. I really didn't. I didn't care. Get me a washer and dryer. I didn't even look over all the features, and but he tells me he's like he, he after he I was down here working he messages me he says he says good luck learning how to use these. I said <laughs> why? He tells me over dinner last night we went out to dinner with some of his family and he tells me 
you can run it. You can run this on your app. It's a smart machine. I went, stop it. You can run this machine on an app. So now we can we can app our washer and dryer, and we can get it to do its thing. And we can we can get the smoker to start cooking smoke the meat to do its thing, and we're not even home. Yeah. Like you can adjust the temperatures and you all, know, and there's also, all this different stuff. And also, stuff. remember uh, there was the apps you could turn lights on and off and heat and everything for your home. Oh, that's now, a, now you're just running your appliances. You can get you got your little shark vacuum running all over your floor. You got food dispensers for your pets. Yeah, those shark those shark robot vacuums, guys. You can sync those up with your Amazon Alexa, and <laughs> you can be. You can be not even home, and you can just tell the thing one. to turn on and start vacuuming the house. I got one. Who remembers the Jensen's? The cartoon of the Jensen's? The Jetsons. Jetsons. You had the robot yeah. maid yep. that would go all over the... I need a Jetson. Now that would be fun. She would be like my Google lady. Google lady. Three bucks for this curtain rod, guys. Five bucks for this one. Ugh. Pretty disappointing. Is what it is. Cool mist humidifier. Oh, that's actually a decent one. Those ones there, they they do sell. It has been opened. I was thinking it was something different. Most likely, it's been used. That is stiff right there, though. Yeah. But they're usually always been used. Man, that thing looks brand new. Even the cords wound up tight. I don't know. This one might be new, guys. I think that's the factory. Tate saw his little pull tab right there. Yeah. I think this might be new. They're still, they're not expensive. They're inexpensive, but um, what do you think? 15 in our pocket, maybe? I feel like, I just don't feel like I can trust it, though. Like I'm expecting, you know, you know what I mean? This, uh, there was a the disgusting tends to jump up yes. out of the box. I'm just feeling like, mm. what's this? Mm, I don't know oh. about all this. What's this? A backpack. 7 a.m. voyage. Man, anytime I'm going on a voyage at 7 a.m., guys, it better be a cruise. Um, really? What about what about just tuna fishing? I'm on that. Well, that's I guess that's kind of a voyage. That Here's the deal, ripped. guys. Huh? The bag's ripped. Where? You don't see it? Not yet. Should I help you? Oh, right there. Nope. Oh man, now there's two rips. Well, this is already what I was gonna say, guys. They used this for whatever trip they did, and then they returned it. It's just clearly. Where's it ripped here? Oh, that was stitching. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, it wasn't ripped where she saw it, <laughs> but it is ripped where I saw it, guys. Um, $15 for this machine right here. Used, ripped backpack, no value. I'll check all the pockets to make sure they one. didn't leave a gift card or something in here. Which, in our storage unit adventures, you guys, we found lots of gift cards, lots of miscellaneous chains laying in the bottom of old purses. Um, I think the best gift card we ever found was, what, $100? $100 to Cabela's. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable, guys. It doesn't happen very often, so don't, don't bank on that kind of stuff. The most money we ever found, like actual just cash, like United States currency cash. Was that one storage unit with all the $2 bills? No. Yes. Was it? Yes. We videoed that. You no, guys we might did. have seen it. We did. What about the eye doctor who had all that coin everywhere? Okay. No matter what container you'd be pulling down, he had tins that of, was of coins. Dollar wise, we came out with probably more money. But That's it was what I'm all talking about. it was all in those metal cookie tins from like the uh, the Christmas. Danish cookies. Oh my god. The gosh. little Danish butter Not cookies. Everywhere in and there. That we kept finding those cans, taped clothes, completely full of coins, you guys. They were heavy, 20, 30 pounds a piece. And we got hundreds of dollars out of that one. I, I forgot about that. But cash money would be the unit that we actually filmed with all the $2 bills. By the way, guys, if you did see that film, we do still have all of the um, the $2 bills. We cashed those in. Um, the All of the foreign money. We did have it looked at by one um, person, and they said most of it had no value at all. Chunky 50 by 70 blanket. So we've held it. We're probably going to sell it on eBay. Um, I've been looking around on there. It has, like, collectible value, but no monetary value. 
salt brand, two pack total blackout panels. This brand is cheap, guys. It's a Bed Bath & Beyond store brand, 15 bucks. So this blanket, is this really this blanket? What size is this? That is chunky. Details. Some of this brand for their knitted blankets is three, four hundred dollars. <gasps> this one is not though, my friends. Wow. Fifty by seventy. This one is not. Of course it's not. This right. one though still is a hundred dollars. Oh yes. Hundred bucks. They don't have the baby blue on here. Well, the, well, the picture just says blue. That color might be discontinued so, or something. Still hundred fifty dollar bill right there. People love these. The chunky knit throw blankets. Oh man, guys, I have got something for our employee oh. to uh, oh, inspect very closely. What is it? What is it, my friend? She is gonna love this, you guys. A toilet seat. Oh man. Okay, seriously, guys. All jokes aside, this is factory packed, factory sealed. It has never been opened, and you know we joke about these. But they sell every single time we get them. And this is one of those padded ones, so you just kind of want to sit down and take a break. It's nice and soft on your butt. So, My butt. Um, My butt. We're probably looking at... It is a little smash down here on the bottom of the package. I will pop that open and make sure it's not damaged. But I'd say we're looking at $15. I think those have gone up. You might want to recheck that, but yeah. Well, Scalp sure they have. serving bowls. Literally, it's just one bowl. It's not even the large bowl. It's a smaller bowl. I'm just going to put it out in our store for $4. was not thrilling, my friends. That was not a good one. $4 bill. Uh, first random website that comes up, you guys. And I don't normally trust this site because their prices are overly inflated. Um, they're saying $32.99. So I'm just going to still stick with my $15. Draft guard for in front of a door. It is still attached. Okay. We've had these before. They actually yeah, sell pretty ten, quick. We can get ten, fifteen dollars for this right here. I'll put it down for. We'll meet in the middle. We'll put it for twelve. Uh oh. Yeah. Ooh. I had a hole. Oh. You guys just witnessed a miracle. Right miracle. There. Especially since this is today's probably. Miracle. Wine glasses is my guess, guys, based on the box size and the weight. Gray marbleized cereal bowls. You know what? Uh, those are nice. Our, our Matea is going to be so excited when she sees these, guys. Why? Because just a little while ago, we processed a box of these out of another pallet uh -huh. that was missing one. And I said, that's going to really kill the value. So with any kind of luck, the one pattern that was missing, we will possibly have in here because this one is missing one also. Great so we'll marbleized have, cereal bowls. We now have one and a half sets of these. One and a half. Let me show them what these look like. So each glass has a different pattern. They're from Mikasa. Mikasa Yukasa. Mikasa Yukasa. It says MSRP $100. That's that's, no, 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 no. Ten dollars for these. No, no, no. Doesn't no, even, no, no, no. Doesn't even scan right. Um, come on, if I can get in here, get all this without falling in. Don't fall in. I'm gonna fall in. Uh, I should Tears just cut it. by Mikasa set of four red wine glasses. Let's see. Here's some information. No, well, you don't need to talk to me, lady. They are $58 at Bed Bath & Beyond, guys. Talk to me, lady. I'm going to call this one $20 because wine glasses are hard to sell. And we're going to add in the other half a set. And we're going to try to sell all of them for $25. That is a smoking deal for somebody. That's a smoking deal. You should put them in a gift basket and give them to somebody for Christmas. I will. Give, give them to Matea. She liked them. She really did like them. Yep, that will be her Christmas bonus. Christmas bonus. She's getting curtains for her birthday. Oh, man. We're too good to her. <laughs> Brookstone. Queen. 
got it right here. I just listed it, the same one the other day. Exact same one. How do you know this is the exact same one? Because I just did it the other day. Well, the price has gone up, my friend. Well, maybe I showed you the wrong screenshot. Because oh, let me check. this one now is at 110. Okay, well, maybe that was the wrong screenshot. I don't know. I might and have showed you the wrong thing. There is a screenshot. Maybe yours wasn't heated. Maybe yours was just a, a, a mattress pad, Brookstone mattress pad. I know what I had, okay? I just might have showed you the wrong picture on my phone. Jeez. Monday Madness. Oh, my God. All I can think of was if you know what you had, you know don't, don't argue with the wife. <laughs> all right, guys. I have a Home Depot box. That sounds like a good time. What could this possibly be? <laughs> 110. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to sell this for $45. All right. Home Depot box, guys. Obviously, is a return because this is not a Home Depot pallet. Look at that. Look at that. These. Oh. Oh, well, I know what a, those are now. The knife set, guys. And those are knife uh, tip protectors. Hopefully, this is a good knife set. See if I can get it out of here without hurting myself. Ouch. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky, guys, because for those of you that know us, you know we sell in our retail store. I need that to scan it. So we can't just put a block set out on the shelf. Somebody will hurt themselves. Um, so, ooh, they're they're hinkles. Yeah, these are nice knives, you guys. High definition stainless steel. That's not to be confused with standard definition. Okay. 14 piece, that counts the block. Regular price is $357. Oh. They are on sale 50% off at Target right now for $180. There is your screenshot, my friends. Man, I gotta check all the tips. I'm wondering if they broke a tip and then they sent them back. It wouldn't surprise me, guys. I, I've seen that many times. So far, so good. Well, one of two things. It's usually on the steak knives where it happens. It was, I need it just for a fancy dinner or whatever. And there it is. Or they got them and it just wasn't their quality or, you know. Guys, I mean, they look brand new. Nothing broke. They look amazing. The, the, ti there's, the tips were all laying in there, too, wherever they're at now. I don't know. Okay, so On the floor. no box, no packaging. Um, maybe one or two have been used. What's a good price? Wow. Even at 50% off, it's already at 180 I was thinking 120 so, Sounds like an amazing deal. No box. Wow. And we're going to have to yeah. sell these by posting them online and get somebody to come pick them up at our store because we cannot put this on our store shelf. No. It would not be safe at all. So we're going to do 120 and hope for a quick sale. Boom! Boom! Yes! I love Hinkle's Okay. Okay. And they always sell. So I have maybe a boom here. Ninja Ooh. Foodie. Oh, that's a good one. We got a smoothie bowl maker and a smoothie drinkable. I don't know. We got something going on here. We just got something making a bunch of something smoothies. That's a good one, guys. We've had this before. That's it has the nutrient extractor. Stiff, stiff. Oh, ho, 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 oh, ho. Stiff, I'm right? getting my scanner, guys. Let's, let's break that cardboard Flip seal. it real quick. I need to scan it. I need to know. This is how. Now, keep going. This is how we're supposed to do it. Ah. One person scans, the other person looks at it. Oh, man, I got it, guys. I got the prize. It is a boom. Guess what? Brand new? Yeah. Yeah! 100 bucks! What is it? Retail two? No. It retails 100 bucks. One. No, it don't. Yeah. We really? paid 851 an item, guys. I was thinking that we were going to get $100 for this. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I see. Did you see my disappointment? Just like, oh. We're going to make up for it on the next item, guys. 
We got one more item in Factory there. Factory wrapped. Both of the, the the cups are there. The tops, the blender. Er, I mean, everything's here. This is brand new. <laughs> Minus cardboard being broken open now. $60, guys. $60 Well, deal. not 40% off the retail on That's that one. That's a good deal. That will sell right here in our local store. Today, my friends. We paid eight fifty one. Today. We got one more item in here, guys. This is the one I was getting excited about before. You remember I it. I need a drink. This I may is need the this. one. I may need this. We've had this before. I may, may need to product test this, Mike. What I'm going to tell you about this, guys, it is, it is awesome. But we could not, no matter how hard we tried, we could not get this to sell local. So I ended up putting it on eBay, and that's where it sold. Now, let's hope that this one, I'll explain a little more here. This is called a Bartesian. It is like a Keurig machine for making cocktail drinks. You got to buy little pods you put in there with has your flavors, and you put your, your liquor in there, and then it just, you, like, I want to say you brew it, but Mateus whatever. Mateus going to go, Mateus going to be like, I never knew there was such a thing that existed. And it just automatically <laughs> mixes it, you guys. So the last one we had had no pods. So. It says, item is defective, send replacement. I do not like the sound of that. I do not like that, Sam. I, um, know. I know. It does have liquid has been spilled in it. It's on the paper. Does it smell like rum? <laughs> Not factory packed. No pods. Um, every, they, they don't. I don't think they come with them. And it does have a broken LCD screen right on top, you guys. So we just went from our huge major boom item to a dud, you guys. We may be able to sell these bottles on eBay. We will look into this and we will see what we can get out of this as a parting it out on eBay. Funny thing um, of it is. We don't, we don't the like funny thing of it is, guys, it's not like they ordered it and, and it came in broken. They used the heck out of this thing. These bottles are all dirty. They somehow used it cocktail maker. until they broke it and then sent it back and said they needed a, re a replacement. Kind of sketchy. but Across the board, $370. Costco's $350. I'm sorry. Monday Madness, guys. I just felt so Monday Madness. Disappointed. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. You know, I'm going okay. to put this down for $40, counting this for parts. What I okay. you didn't let me think. I want you to start adding up. And while you're adding up, I'm actually going to look up parts for this on eBay and see if I can come up with some sort of an idea what they do. Be right back. Or if they do. Right back. All right, guys, we're back. Terry got it all figured out. But why she was doing that, I spent quite a bit of time looking on eBay. These machines sell used like crazy. But I didn't see any that had sold for parts. So, and I also didn't see anybody that was selling the individual bottles. And if you didn't, if you're not aware, and I didn't make it clear before, the bo each bottle is labeled for what type of, of, liquor you're putting in like tequila or rum or vodka <laughs> so if somebody breaks that particular bottle and they need a replacement where are they going to go they're going to go to ebay so i'm going to try to post <laughs> those bottles individually each individual one for twenty dollars a piece so all said and done we should still be able if we sold all of them come out with still 40 or 50 in our pocket i hope but we'll sounds look into good. it further later sounds good all right are we ready? I'm ready. Let's I do added it. his forty dollars in with that. So all said and done. Wow, this is a lot of work for this. Oh no. I don't even like the sound of that. All in six hundred and twenty one dollars, seventy three items out of those two days. Whew. Potential sales. One thousand three hundred and fifty six dollars with a potential profit of seven hundred and thirty five dollars. We did do a double up. We lost it on the big boom. You know what, though? When you said, oh, this can be a lot of work for this, yeah. I was thinking we were going to profit like 200 bucks. So, wow. you know you what? Know, I'm this, pretty happy with that. This should have brought us like $200 more. At least. You know, if at it was least. used, 150 more. 
So, you know, that was a bummer to go down to $40, $50. These things it. are all over the sold section on eBay used for like $225 to $260, oh, all man. over it. So, um, wow. Okay, well, you know, that's just how it goes. The Bartesian still haunts us. Well, it's, we'll power it up. We'll see if it powers up and if it even works. It may still work. And then what? Doubtful. Then what? Well, then we'll figure out where to go with it from there. Uh -huh. but. But. So, there's, so I dub up you guys, it's, you know, it's a good thing. Matea could get through all of this in one day. So there it is. I can wow. handle that. She, wow. She, she gets the fun of going through all of this fun stuff. You know, you've been so working you really hard at training clap. her, guys, but I don't think she's gotten we quite have, to that You guys, we yet. have been working really hard at training Matea. She's doing a great job. So you guys say hello to her. Give her encouragement. Keep her going. She's a great person. So there it is. Happy Monday Madness. You will see her stepping in on helping out on some of these videos also. So oh, please man. leave her amazing comments. Maybe on Wednesday, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Okay. Talk to you all later. Bye. Right. Bye. Keep laughing.